Hi everyone, it's your girl Honeybee and I'm here today with a wig review. So I'm actually going to be reviewing more than one wig. I probably will give you some stats on the one that I have on now. And I really like her. As you can see, she's like really big and really full and really nice. Okay, let me get the box. And her name is Evelyn. I got her in a four. She's from Impress or Sensational. So yeah. It is heat safe up to 400 degrees. And I really do like her. Now I haven't played with the part much. I plucked a little bit. I haven't put any concealer or anything within the part. This is just her you know, a little bit plucked up in the in the part area, but this is really just her, and I just really just fluffed her out. I have her on the side, which I felt that she would look better on the side rather than in the middle. But yeah, her curls is really nice. Um, it can tell that she is getting a little dried out with use, but you know, you can just spray some water on her or some oil um yeah so this is evelyn and let me so yeah big and curly very nice i really really enjoy this this piece so I think I spent like $25 on her. I got her from um, wigtypes.com and I really love the site. I always get my box within two days of ordering and I haven't had any complaints as far as their shipping or their prices. And even as I speak right now, they're having a sale, 30% um, off, an extra 30% off of the wigs. And I think I got these like an extra 25% off. So, yeah, they're always having, like, deals, and I appreciate that, especially as somebody who buys wigs a lot. So, yeah, this is Evelyn. She has um, two combs in the front, and then she has, like, two combs going this way. If you, like, cut the if you prefer to, like, cut the wig down apart and do your, pull your own hair out, they have actual combs where you can, like, like you know, stop it right there. And a comb in the back, as well as an uh, adjustable strap. And the uh, fit of the cap is pretty good. I haven't experienced much shedding, but, you know, this is a curly unit. And as it dries, it is starting to get a little tangled at the ends. You can see, like, kind of right here. So, yeah. Um, overall, I really like her. I really like the... Um, the density as well as the luster is not too shiny. It looks very natural and it's something that I could definitely rock on a daily. Like I just came out of Lion King. Mufasa. Alright guys, so I am also going to go ahead and show you guys another wig which is... I'm going to try it on Deja. And this is how she looks. She's from Model Model, the L part lace wig. She's also um, curling iron friendly up to 400 degrees. And this is, I haven't opened her yet, so. Oh, it's, oh, it's, okay. All right, I got this thing locked up. So oh, I know it's going to look good. So this is a length, pretty good length, and it feels really good already. So yeah guys, I'm going to go and cut the lace really quick and then I'll be back and I'll show you guys how it looks. <sighs> okay guys, so this is Deja and I have mixed thoughts. Now, maybe my head shape is not really the right shape for this wig because again I have a long oval face and sometimes this long straight hair can like make my face look too skinny and this hair is 
on the thinner side. Let's pause on that. On the thinner. Okay. This hair is on the thinner. This hair is on the thinner side. Like, it's a little thin, so then it kind of like squeezes my head. And it just makes, it's just too thin, I think. Um, I'm definitely going to try to play with it a little bit to give me some more volume here in the head area. Now, I must admit that it is a lot lighter than that 24 inch entree um, wig. That wig is heavy and um, I can see it kind of getting annoying after a while. While this one is more light and more like you can wear it every day, but it's just too thin. It's too thin for a small face like mine. Like I need some more volume up here so my head won't look so skinny. And um, this is not really doing it for me. And yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's fine. I haven't did anything to the part yet. Um, I am going to see if I could use um, the curling iron to maybe do some loose waves to it. You know, try to put something in it to give me some more volume at the top. But yeah, so I got this in a four. Um, lengthwise, it is down here like mid back which is a it's a great length um and it does have two combs up up in the front uh, two combs in the front one comb in the back and an adjustable strap so that you know you can make it fit as snug as you want in your head this feels pretty tight on my head um so yeah this is deja and she is a little shiny. Um, but she's she's okay. She's okay. Like I could definitely I could definitely make it work, but I would definitely have to put some effort into it because I just feel like she I would probably need just a little little bit more hair. I just have to get used to it on my face. Okay, guys. So, I do have one more wig. And I, oh, by the way, like, I am experiencing a lot of shedding. Yeah, they, they are just steadily coming out. But no hate to Deja, no shade. But, uh, so-so. So I do have one more wig, and instead of doing a whole nother video, I'm going to go ahead and try that one on for you guys and show you. So this is Lena. And my husband actually picked this one out for me. Um, because I was a little bit um, indecisive about the color. So he chose this color. And this is OP27. He thought it would look good. It's like a... Blondish, brownish, multicolor. If I can get it out. So yeah. This is Lena. And she already looks pretty. This is what L Deep Diag um, Diagonal Part. So it looks like this, which is good. It looks natural to me. So yeah, so she is just like flipped all around and that color is definitely on point. I'm loving it. 
So let me try her on. I'm going to cut the lace off and I will show you guys the final product. I'm not going to play with the part. I'm just going to just throw her on. Okay. Okay, guys. So this is Lena. And let me tell you, I'm really feeling myself in Lena. Lena is absolutely gorgeous. And all I did was just cut the lace off and plop her on my head. And she just doing it. She showed out. So... Yeah, this is the color, which is absolutely beautiful. And the part, I didn't touch the part. Part looks, it looks good. Like, I don't feel comfortable wearing this out, even with the part like this. It, it doesn't bother me. Um, even though, like, it could probably be better, but I think it's a very, very good start. Like, I could just go run and wear this out and I would feel comfortable. I wouldn't feel self-conscious that it looks wiggy. So anyway, it's two um, combs in the front, comb in the back, an adjustable strap. I have not experienced any shedding nor tangling um, so far. And the flips, the curls, everything is bomb. Um, I'm just really liking this. I'm really liking the texture. I like the way it looks. It looks natural as far as like the shine. It's not shiny. It's not wiggy. It just looks very good. Um, I love this color. They did a very good job. And as you can see, it's like it's the color on top. And then it's all brown here at the bottom of the wig. And it's very nice. It's definitely a good length. Um, it comes, again, it comes like mid back and it's perfect. It's light. It is not heavy on my head. I mean, it feels good. The wig cap, I mean, the, the cap itself, the fit is a little snug. It is a little snug, but I have, you know, thick hair. So, you know, my braids underneath here are a little thick. If you braid your hair up the right way, you shouldn't have a problem. Um, but it's absolutely, I'm um, for real, this is a must have. This is definitely a good buy. This is a good buy. I'm feeling myself. I love it. I love it. I love it. 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 Lena will make you dance. Lena will make you dance. So yeah, this is Lena and like I say, if I recommend, if I could recommend you guys to buy any one of them, it will be Lena. And there are so many different colors. There are so many different colors available in Lena and I think I spent probably about $25. $25 or $29. I'm not sure, but I'll probably try to list it in the description box how much it was. But um, it definitely has not disappointed me. This is definitely one out of all the ones that I have reviewed is my favorite. And yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. Perfect density. It's not too thin. The curls is popping. And I love everything about it. So, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed this wig review. I hope you've learned something. If you have any other questions, you can just put it in the description box. Again, I got OP27 um, and Lena. It's Honeybee. And you know, I got you. Stay blessed.